Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you off a piece of sunglasses. I was thinking that I might switch it up and since the name of the channel is I review it all uh, I said to myself well I need to review some other stuff than just the watch so here it is me bringing you a piece of sunglasses. Now I'm a avid uh, sunglasses collector, I really like sunglasses uh, and I have a reasonable collection uh, and this is one of the sunglasses that I am um, wearing in the rotation of the pieces that I have and have been at uh, the top of my rotation for some time now uh, so let's talk about the sunglasses alright so the sunglasses are from uh, a German manufacturer, a German company called, and you know, I hope I'm not gonna misspell that wrongly, called Mikita. You can call it also Mikita, I guess, but uh, no, I, I, I call it Mikita. And Mikita, if I am not mistaken, is they, the guys, are, I mean, the company is based in Berlin. And this, they are making some really interesting sunglasses. They have a, a couple of lines, they also have a, you know, a couple of sunglasses which are collaborations with uh, some of the designers but this, this would be one of the, those sunglasses uh, and just in general I think they are a really interesting company so do check them out so to these particular sunglasses these are uh, a col collaboration between Mikita and Bernhard Wilhelm as you can see uh, on, on the carrying case uh, which is a, you know a standard sunglasses box closes like that has uh, sunglasses written on the top of them and nothing on the bottom and then it just opens up like that and as you can see it says Mikita and Bernhard Wilhelm now I don't know much about Mr. Bernhard Wilhelm Oh, other than that he is if I'm not mistaken a designer and um, he is designing clothes uh, aside from that um, you know he has been doing a collaboration with Mikita and they have put out a couple of sunglasses one of them um, one of them is called Franz which by the way is not the pair that we're looking at now and those was uh, got very famous because I think um, I think Jessica Sarah Parker wore them in uh, in the first Sex in the City movie. But this one's here. This particular pair is called Sep, um, and there are different variations of uh, you know a different coloring of these sunglasses. This particular pair is in gold, as you can see here gold with a gold lens an f9 gold lens the material is some kind of a stainless steel material which is very flexible very bendy so the glasses are very comfortable to wear these are like uh, i would say a typical aviator shape very light they're really light and the dimensions are let me see if I can if I can show this no, I don't think it's gonna be readable like that so the dimensions are let me check 63 for the lens and 12 for the temple and I think the length of the hands is 140 and that would be all in millimeters right so 63 in lenses 12 on the temple and 140 on on the on the legs one thing uh, which is very nice on these sunglasses and you know it's interesting is that they don't have any screws on the hinges the design of the hinges is a screwless design and you see once it goes over it closes it looks flimsy but you know it's it's not I, it, I'll try to close it here see 
and then it closes and it closes very firm so if you want to if you want to wear them um, like clothes and you put them behind your shirt that's not gonna be a problem um, the nose pads are rubber which is good because they do help um, keeping the sunglasses um, they do help keeping the sunglasses on the nose and also at the end of the legs uh, this is also rubber yeah, okay it focused now so this is like rubber and it helps keeping the, the glasses behind your your ears um, as for the colors as I said there is many options um, you can get a, I think uh, for sure a silver frame with a silver glass and then uh, black frame with blue glass and so on the glasses are mirrored this particular ones as you can see you can see me behind the camera there I go, there I go. I'm gone so the glasses are are mirrored which is nice um, so your eyes are you know kind of out of sight on the in these glasses although they are a bit of pain the whole sunglasses as it is now to keep clean you, you, I find myself all the time cleaning them and they are uh, you know a magnet they are a magnet for um, for uh, you know fingerprints Other than that, I mean, this is these are a great pair of glasses, and I do recommend them. You know, depends. You know, also which I I I, I do recommend them to anybody. Um, uh, but you know, the the color of the frame and the color of the lens, it, it depends on your particular style. So if you want to, you know, these these sunglasses are quite flashy because they are all gold with golden lenses. But you can tone them down, right? By getting a black frame with the black lenses, and then they don't, um, they don't look. Uh, they're much more conservative looking. But comfort-wise, right? Comfort-wise, how light they are, the way they sit on the face, the optics is really good. Um, they're they're really top-notch for the money, right? So I do think you get what you're paying with these ones. This particular model I have bought myself in the Vienna store. Um, the sales assistant there was great. I can re recommend her and I can recommend the store. And the store is located, um, I don't want to plug it in, but since we're talking about the store is located very near to Stefan's Dome. I don't know what the... Uh, the street is but it's in the center center of Vienna so if you google that you're gonna find the uh, find the address for the store and the cost was uh, I think around 350 euros not so sure now but around 350 euros I have them for one year and aside from little scratch on the lens little micro scratch which I have actually found now when I was cleaning them for the purpose of this video review uh, yeah that's not gonna come up on camera they have other than that you know which is not really I didn't even notice it when I was uh, when I was um, uh, wearing them before uh, aside from that they are spotless so they have kept up really fine all right, uh, this is all for, for this review. So if you have any questions, uh, write, subscribe if you like the video, and I hope I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you, and bye-bye for now.